Good morning, children. Welcome to online classes. Hope you all are fine and staying safe at home. Today we are going to learn our English subject. Third lesson, the warm. So I request all of you to open your textbook, page number twenty-three, and repeat the poem after me. So let's see. When the earth is turned in spring. The warmth of fat as anything. So what is this? When the earth is turned in spring, the worms are fat as anything, and birds come flying all around to eat the earth worms right off the ground. They like the worms just as much as I like bread and milk and apple pie. And once when I was very young. I put a worm right on my tongue. I didn't like the taste a bit, and so I did not swallow it. But oh, it makes my mother scream because she thinks I ate that worm. So what is this? So basically, now it's the rainy season. So in the rainy season, what happens? Mostly, we see the earthworms in this rainy season. So, spring season automatically what happens from summer to rainy it turns. So, what happens? We see many of the earthworms in the soil. Where do we find this is earthworms in the soil, in the gardens, under the rocks, under the trees, under the plants. So, mostly you can find these earthworms here and there. So. What are these earthworms? So why we are learning today about these earthworms? Because so when the spring turns about, when the earth is turned in the spring, the worms are fat as anything. So what happens? Sir? These worms turn fat as anything. So when we are eating completely whole day foods, what happens? Sir? So a whole one week or one month, if we are eating continuously any kinds of foods and not doing any kind of works, will become fat. So in the same way, the earthworms they too will turn fat when the earth turns. But when the spring season starts, they turn fat. So when the earthworms start becoming fat, what happens? The birds, all the birds from the ground, all the birds, they fly around. They come to the ground and start eating these earthworms. So for these birds. The earthworms are like bread, milk, and a pie, and a apple pie. So for us, how uh, we feed bread, milk, and apple pie? It will taste. How it will be tasting? A uh, very nice, different taste. Yes, we are going to enjoy this taste. The taste will be very good. In the same way, for the birds also, the earthworms taste is like a bird. The earthworms taste for the birds is like milk, bread, and apple. Pie. The taste will be very nice for them. So in the same way, so hope when you are small children, when you are younger, you might have tasted these earthworms. Sure, anybody have eaten these earthworms or tasted this? Not eat. Yes, might be tasted. So when you are younger, so this poet is saying when I am younger, I might have tasted it. So you know different kinds of taste when you are young or small or anything. You might have known the taste. Maybe you don't know that whether it is sweet or sour, but the taste might be different. So here also the poet had tasted the earthworm. So what happens here when he tasted uh, right? He has put on his tongue. So can you see in this picture? He has kept the earthworm right on his tongue, but did not taste it. But I did taste mm -hmm. like it a bit, and so I did swallow it. So the taste is very different when we taste something. The taste buds on the tongue help us to taste different things. So when we taste, what happens? Uh, the writer understood that uh, it is bit uh, different from different taste. So that he did not swallow it. Swallow means uh, taking it into our throat. So that he did swallow it. So when the poet is doing this, what happens? His mother came running to him because she thinks that his child is eating these worms. So, 
we 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 are small we don't know we will play with these worms even uh, small children they don't know the difference between snake or a frog or anything so they think that it is an uh, object to play so they start playing it or putting in the mouth all these things we do so basically where do we see this at worms means when we are planting the trees when we are digging the gardens so that when we are digging the gardens basically we can see this at worm so i have repeated the poem for you so i'm going to repeat it once again so you have to learn this poem let me repeat it back and learn the poem now see when the earth is turned in spring the worms are fat as anything spring thing both are rhyming words spring thing and birds come flying all around to eat the worms right off the ground birds are coming from to the ground around and ground they are the rhyming words they like the worms just as much as i like milk and bread and apple pie i pie they are the rhyming words again and once when i was young i put a worm right on my tongue eh tongue i didn't like the taste a bit and so i didn't swallow it bit it but ho oh, it makes my mother scream but she thinks i ate that worm scream worm so these are the rhyming words learn the rhyming words and typical words from the poem so bye children thank you one and all